Well, the NCC was in front of a House of Commons committee today to defend spending $8 million to replace a barn. The building is used as a maintenance and storage space at Rideau Hall and has critics asking how so much money can be spent. CTV's Peter Sperling reports. This is what a more than $8 million maintenance building called The Barn by the National Capital Commission looks like. The building at Rideau Hall built with a price tag that's raising questions. Canadians are properly outraged. The NCC under fire at a House of Commons committee for the project. And how it's possible to spend $8 million on a barn. The NCC takes the stewardship of public funds extremely seriously. There have been, Mr. Chair, no concerns raised by the Office of the Auditor General related to this project. Completed in 2021, the two-story building replaces multiple structures, with 20 to 40 employees working from it, according to the NCC. There were actually four separate buildings, which were deemed to be at the end of their useful life for uh, safety and, and health concerns. Including a barn similar in size and shape to the original. The cost of this project included the demolition of the previous existing buildings, the, uh, the decontamination of contaminated soil on sites, studies, design, all of the soft costs, as well as the construction costs for this building. The barn is the NCC's first certified zero carbon building. And according to the NCC, the 70 solar panels installed on the roof produce enough energy to offset the electricity demand of Stornoway, where the leader of the opposition lives. There is no defending an $8 million barn. You know, I can't believe we have to say that out loud. Even with all the bells and whistles, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation says it's not justified. Look, I don't know the first thing about farming, but I'm pretty sure my buddies in Brooks know how to build a barn for less than 8 million bucks. The project also raising questions about other assets, like the decrepit 24 Sussex Drive. We're doing everything we can to address the deferred maintenance of the assets which are at greatest risk physically, but also at greatest risk of causing more financial cost for the taxpayer. Peter Sperling, CTV News.